Hello, Aquarius, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, looking at your reset past, your current energy, and your immediate future, answering the question, what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self? As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages, which I'll jump into in just a second. But I have the tarot deck already shuffled that we'll be using, as well as the decks that I'll be using in the extended already shuffled. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. These readings, uh, if you watch the love readings on my channel, I talk a lot about doing the healing, focusing on self. These are what the, those, these readings are for, is to bring... Um, your attention to the healing and maybe not focusing so much on love. Sure, some of them, you know, might resonate in that way, but um, other aspects of your life as well. Um, on that note, these are still general readings, so they're not going to resonate fully for everyone. So do remember to take what resonates and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. All right. Aquarius, in your recent past, you have expansion with the Five of Cups. Um, quite a bit of disappointment in your recent past. Sadness, disappointment, um, feelings of being let down. And I feel like to you, it just feels sad. It feels disappointing. But then you, with this expansion card, I feel like this disappointment, you know, when we go through experiences in life that are disappoint disappointing or painful, it, if we do the healing and learn what we need to, can expand our perception. And it, that expansion of our perception of our reality can actually expand our reality, can shift our reality. And so a lot of the times we don't realize it when we're going through it, but when we come out of it, we're able to see how our life has changed because of what we've been through. Um, I don't feel like you're there yet, but that's okay. I just, I do feel like there was a lot of disappointment that did happen in your recent past. And what I'm trying to get at is that doesn't mean that you can't still have what it is that you want in this life. Because then in your current energy, you have keep your dreams alive with the Ten of Pentacles. The universe is actively asking you to keep your dreams alive, to keep your dreams of abundance alive. Whatever it is, the life of your dreams that you want, the career that you want, the financial situation that you want, the partner that you want. I'm not talking about a specific person, but just the idea of a partner that you want, you know, someone who is loving, respectful, who, um, who feels like you're in a relationship with the perfect person for you, you know, whatever it is that you want is possible. If the universe has put a dream in your heart, it has every intention of making that happen for you. So there's a need to, um, to understand that you got to keep your dreams alive, Aquarius. You got to still believe that the life of your dreams is possible. That's the first step. If you don't believe that the life of your dreams is possible, you're not going to take any action toward it. And that is what I feel like your immediate future is about because you have the fool with make a decision. You know, when we want to create the life of our dreams, we have to, we, we have a active role in that. You know, the universe can open so many doors for us, but until we decide to take the action to step through those doors, nothing will ever um, will ever happen. And so this, your immediate future is about you making some sort of a decision, some embracing some sort of a new beginning, stepping into almost like this feels like a new life here, Aquarius. So I feel like this is a pretty positive reading. So let's start by looking at your recent past. Recent past for Aquarius, you have expansion with the Five of Cups. Is for Aquarius's recent past, please. Aquarius's recent past. One more for Aquarius's recent past. Clarifying expansion with the Five of Cups. Recent past for Aquarius. The Two of Cups in reverse and the Star. You were separated from something in your recent past, something that brought you a lot of joy, something that at one point um, was very much in alignment with your heart. With It's like something that you loved, separation from something that you loved. It could have been I mean, a job, uh, obviously a person. It doesn't just have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship. But that separation from something is what led to this disappointment. But then you have this star here. So since this, this separation, you've been focusing on the healing or the healing has been the need for the focus because I feel like 
whatever this was, it actually opened up your energy for something better. Whatever this separation was, it actually opened up your energy for something better. I feel like it's hard for you to see and understand that yet, but I definitely feel like we're going to see that as we keep moving forward. So reset past for Aquarius, please. Recent past for Aquarius, please. Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Wands with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some situation fell apart here. Um, but it happened so that you could balance your priorities almost. I feel like in a way you were prioritizing like survival mode over like abundance. You know, one of the things that I, I say often in these readings is you are supposed to be having fun. Life is supposed to be a fun experience. You're supposed to be enjoying your day to day. Things are, and no, things aren't always good, right? You're going to go through times and there will always be a cha challenging situations you're going to have to face. But majority of the time, things are supposed to be positive. Um, and sometimes when we don't believe that that's possible for us, we'll stay stuck in survival mode and we're, we'll prioritize our survival mode over our true, genuine happiness. So what that looks like is staying in relationships that don't make us happy or that don't serve us because we think that's as good as it gets for us or staying in careers that we hate because we think that that's as good as it gets for us or accepting certain financial situations because you think that that's as good as it gets for you, Right. Um, and we prioritize our survival mode, just trying to stay alive, just trying to keep our head above water, naturally, because we don't think that anything better is, is possible for us. And that, to me, and, and I kind of talked about this a little bit in the Gemini reading, but that is kind of like living in the matrix, living in um, within the bounds of the limitations that you place on yourself that have really been placed on you by your parents and society and so on and so forth. But Things had to fall apart here because the, the priority wasn't your fulfillment. Your priority wasn't your abundance. Reset past for Aquarius. And maybe you thought it was, but on like a subconscious level, it wasn't. Reset past for Aquarius, please. Five of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, World in reverse, Temperance in reverse. And there's that Five of Cups again. Five of Cups with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, okay. I feel like one of the things I talk about a lot on my channel is that we as human beings often have a tendency to resist our own abundance and our own happiness. And so not only do we have a tendency to prioritize survival mode, but we'll even resist better or, you know, things that might potentially bring us joy and fulfillment because fulfillment and abundance is so unfamiliar to us. When you have been living an entire life in survival mode, that survival mode becomes your comfort zone. And you think that if you're not surviving, then you're not going to live, right? But in reality, you don't have to survive. You can thrive. You can enjoy your life. Uh, but we'll aft, often actually invest in the resistance to our abundance instead of actually investing in our abundance. So for instance, there might be a person out there that is absolutely meant for you, that loves you, that shows up for you, that respects you, that reciprocates you just like it is that you deserve. But you might have your, your sight so focused on one relationship and trying to make it work, even though it proves to you time and time again that it won't, that you're not able to accept into the abundance that you're looking for into your life because you're trying to focus on survival mode. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be alone forever. If this relationship falls apart, I'm never going to have the love that I deserve. This is as good as it gets for me. And so your reset past was a lot about needing, because that's why you have the five of cups with expansion. It's almost like these disappointments that I feel like it's multiple that have been happening in your reset past have happened to make you realize and expand your perception on the fact that you deserve more than that. If you are experiencing a situation where you are constantly getting disappointed by someone or something, that is the universe telling you, get the heck out. 
you know, now sometimes we're not able to see that because to us, it just feels like everything's happening to us. And again, we're in that survival mode, but the more that you can break out of that and stop looking at it as this is happening to me, to this is trying to teach me something, the more you can learn what you need to learn so that you can take steps towards that abundance. So your recent past was a lot about um, that disappointment for sure. So let's shift gears here. Current energy for Aquarius clarifying. Keep your dreams alive with the Ten of Pentacles. This is for Aquarius's current energy, please. Aquarius's current energy. One more. This is Aquarius's current energy, please. Current energy for Aquarius, please. Okay. I knew that was going to come up. Um, okay. This is a big message, so I might actually take a couple cards for this message because I think it's going to take me a second to talk about this. I'm going to do it this way to help for my own sanity. Okay. This card, this Eight of Swords, is the representation to me of how our limiting beliefs can manifest into a reality. And so therefore we stay trapped in the reality that exists inside of our mind instead of expanding um, our reality through the potential of what's possible. This card, this Eight of Swords in reverse is my favorite card in tarot because it talks about releasing you from the trappings of your own mind, from your limiting beliefs so that you can experience a life beyond what you have been experiencing. 95% of our movements, choices, and decisions stem from our subconscious. Only 5% of the way that we interact with our reality is conscious. And when we're stuck in those, um, those limiting beliefs, without if we don't bring those to our awareness, we might not even realize how our limiting beliefs keep us stuck in survival mode. And I feel like there's a lot that has been, like with the Emperor Universe, kind of like control like your limiting beliefs about what is possible for you, Aquarius, has been controlling your reality. You've been limiting yourself to what it is that you have experienced and not opening yourself to up to what it is that you can experience. Now, that is absolutely normal and natural. You are a human being. You're having very real human experiences, and it makes plenty of sense that that would be the case. Now, I talk about how 95% of you is responsible for your movement choices and decisions. Now, that 95% that's where the fear, doubt, insecurity, and limiting beliefs lie, right? And those fears, doubts, insecurities, and limiting beliefs have been a product of what you have experienced. If you've experienced loss, lack, pain, suffering, disappointment, you know, um, lack of love, you know, investing in things that you don't deserve, if you've experienced that for the good, better part of your life, then it makes plenty of sense why you are going to feel, think, and act the way that you do. Our goal when we get on a spiritual journey is to break out of the way that we think things have to be because of what we've experienced and open our hearts up to the magic that this universe has in store for us. When I first got on a spiritual journey, I remember I was like, wow, this is amazing. You start learning about manifestation and you start learning about how there's really no limitations to the life that you want to live except for the ones that you place on yourself. You start learning about all these things and realizing that, you know, you've, you've been, it's almost like, like you've been living your life with like your hands tied behind your back in a way, not realizing, you know, that you needed to kind of cut yourself free and you have so much more ability. It's kind of a weird analogy, but still it's like, you know, we're like living a life with like one eye open and then eventually you have two eyes or whatever the case is. Um, you get what I'm saying. Sometimes we don't realize that we limit ourselves to what's possible because we say, well, that can't be possible because I've never experienced it. Well, if you want to believe that it's not possible, you're going to continue to believe that it's not possible and you're going to continue to experience that it's not possible. But if you can start to open yourself up to what very well might be possible for you, then your life can shift in pretty cool ways. Um, so right now I feel like it's okay. And then there's this message when you don't believe it's possible. So, Per the law of attraction, what you focus on expands, right? When you focus on um, fear, doubt, and limitation, that's going to be what you receive more of. 
per cognitive behavioral therapy, your thoughts become your beliefs, which becomes your actions, which becomes your reality. What you think about over and over again, this isn't possible, this isn't possible, this isn't possible, that eventually becomes your belief, this isn't possible, which then your actions are going to start to align with the belief that this isn't possible and therefore you're never going to be able to bring into reality what it is that you want. So with three of wands and ace of wands in reverse, there's a need to take steps out of your comfort zone of survival mode in order to create the life of your dreams. But you're not going to take those steps until you believe that the life of your dreams is possible. That is the absolute first step to creating the reality that you deserve. So I'm actually going to take both those cards because those kind of felt like two separate messages. All right. Current energy for Aquarius, please. Current energy for Aquarius, please. What more? This is current energy for Aquarius. Now, say you're watching this reading and you're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all that. I know all that. Um, and you're saying, I'm trying. I'm trying to take steps out of my comfort zone. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to follow the path of my dreams. I'm trying to choose what's best for me and nothing seems to be happening. Um, the majority of the manifestation process happens within. There's a quote in spirituality, as above, so below, as within, so without. What we believe about ourselves and our reality becomes what the reality that we experience. Again, take that in terms of spirituality or take it in terms of psychology. What we think about, we believe, what we believe, we act on, what we act on is what we create. Sometimes we don't realize that we're, we're creating the life of our dreams because we're working through all of the fears, doubts, insecurities, and limiting beliefs as to why the life of our dreams isn't possible within. So you might be facing a lot of the same. You might be feeling like you're trying to take steps forward. You're trying to take steps out of your comfort zone, but you feel like you stay stuck in the same situations or you keep experiencing the same disappointment. Well, that is your limiting belief of this isn't possible. You're not good enough. You're not deserving enough. That's your, that's, that's those limiting beliefs coming up and, and like almost like flashing at you. And it's up to you to not allow those limiting beliefs to dictate your movements, choices, and decisions. The more that you can learn to lean on faith, the more that that faith will eventually lead you to where you're trying to go. So if you are trying to take steps out of your comfort zone, good for you because you are already doing the hardest part, which is setting the intention to do what you need to do. But it takes time. Retraining your belief system cannot happen overnight and your life is a reflection of your beliefs. And if there's anything I've learned on this journey, it's that you got to learn things twice. You learn it on a conscious level. You learn... I'm more deserving than this and the life of my dreams is possible. I mean, you can learn that, but then you have to, you're going to be put in situations that make you learn that. It becomes a thought. It's a thought, you know, at first it's part of your conscious thinking. And then you have to act on that conscious thinking enough times for it to become a habit. And then that habit lives within you. And then you go from, you know, thinking it isn't possible, the life of my dreams isn't possible to the life of my dreams is possible. And then you start to see that it reflect in your outer environment. So, in, but in order to shift that belief, you have to face situations that reflect back at you. This isn't possible. You're going to fail. You're not good enough. And you have to choose not to believe those limiting beliefs and keep pushing forward. When you talk about the law of attraction, the, um, the biggest thing is that you you know, whatever it is, is on a certain vibration and you have to tune into that frequency. You have to be able to tune into the frequency of what it is that you desire. And in order to do that, you've got to break out of all of the reasons why you don't think it's possible. You don't think you're good enough. You don't think that you can do it, whatever the case is. And to do that, you have to face obstacles. And those obstacles will try to pull you back into your comfort zone. It'll try to pull you back to safety. It'll try to pull you back to that survival mode. And those obstacles are where most people give up. The obstacles are where most people say, this isn't possible because they allow their limiting belief of this isn't possible to control them. But you're going to be different, Aquarius, because you watched this tarot reading, right? All right, Aquarius, let's look at your immediate future. You have make a decision with the fool. 
does Aquarius need to know regarding their immediate future? One more immediate future for Aquarius, please. If the universe put a dream in your heart, it has every intention of making it happen. So there's the same fool, page of cups in reverse. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's different. That's different than what I was going to say. Okay, so here's the three of pentacles in reverse, right? Things fell apart. You experienced this, this three of swords, this ten of swords. Things sucked in your recent past, right? We talked about that. Things sucked. But why? Why did that have to happen? Was it because you were deserving of more? Was it because you were settling? Was it because you were investing in something out of the hope that it alleviated um, a pain instead of investing in it because you wanted to gain something positive, right? When we invest in something out of trying to avoid a fear instead of investing something in, out of trying to gain an abundance, then we can often invest in things that aren't really meant for us. And when you can look at your recent past and start to understand why things happened the way they did, you then no longer, because when things fell apart, for us, it's really easy to get into the mindset of like, well, what's the point? Why would I try? Why would I try? Why would I start over? Why would I try to create the reality of my dreams if at one point I thought I had it and it fell apart? Why would I try to invest in another relationship or open my heart up to somebody else if it always just ends in pain? You know, why would I try? It's really easy to get into that mindset when things have happened that are that are negative. But when we can understand why it had to happen and what the lesson is, then we'll be able to move forward. You are receiving divine guidance um, on stepping into some sort of new beginning here. But for some reason, Aquarius, you're not listening to it. And I feel like you know what that is. It could be leaving a relationship. It could be starting a business. It could, it's something. It's something and you know it could be reaching out to someone. I don't know what it is. But there's some sort of new beginning. And you're receiving guidance on how to create it. And this new beginning is going to be the start of this Ten of Pentacles. But for some reason... With the page of cups in reverse, you're not listening to it. Yeah, when in reality, this new beginning can lead you to what it is you want. And I get it. Fear, doubt, insecurity, right? There's always going to be reasons not to take maybe a leap of faith or to choose to invest in something new or to choose to do things differently this time around. Immediate future for Aquarius, please. Immediate future for... Ooh. because of your five of swords energy. I knew it. I knew that was going to come up. Okay. Aquarius, you've got to work through the me against the world mentality. Um, there's a part of you that believes that this universe is out to get you. There's a part of you that might be very, um, feel like you have to protect yourself instead of feeling like you get to embrace uh, experiences in life. Now you feel this way probably because you've been in situations where you did have to protect yourself, where you've been this, this right here, this is the perfect representation of survival mode. And you, Aquarius, deserve to break out of that survival mode. You, get, you deserve to be in relationships, both romantic and otherwise, with people who see your value and who make you feel loved without you having to ask. You deserve to pursue a career, if that's what you want, full of passion. You deserve to have the family that you want. You deserve to have the financial situation and the lifestyle that you want. All of these things are absolutely possible for you. But I feel like there's a part of you that thinks that you have to either settle or maybe for whatever reason, being alone forever is, you know, is what this lifetime has in store for you. Now, there's nothing wrong with being alone. But if you want a partner, there's a partner out there for you. But sometimes, like, I see comments on my channel all the time. Like, people, I just realize that the universe just wants me to be alone forever. No, the universe does not want you to be alone forever. The universe wants you to have whatever life you want to have, whatever that looks like for you. You have to be willing and open to creating it. And that's where things get kind of tough. Because in order to create your future, you've got to understand your past. 
And to understand your past, you've got to do the inner work. You've got to do the reflection. You've got to take a look at the role you have played in your own suffering. That does not mean that what has happened to you is your fault. And it does not mean that I am blaming you. What I'm saying is that in order to take your power back and to start to create the life of your dreams, you have to understand why things happened the way they did so that you can close those cycles and move forward with the confidence and knowing that you are creating a better future for yourself. Otherwise, if we don't heal what's happened in our past, those cycles are going to come back and affect us in our in our future. So this is how this is how you take your power back here. Because the universe wouldn't straight up say, keep your dreams alive with the Ten of Pentacles if it, the universe isn't going to be like, keep your dreams alive, you know, keep your the idea that you want of your abundance alive just so we can crush your dreams. That's not what the universe wants for you. So keep your dreams alive. The abundance that you want and deserve is absolutely impossible. Immediate future for Aquarius, please. But you're going to have to start slowly but surely aligning your intentions with faith instead of survival mode. Look at that. Five of Cups in reverse. Work through the disappointment of your past. Things didn't work out because they weren't supposed to work out, but that does not mean that they can't still work out for you. Hope that makes sense. Work through this. This is a card of acceptance. Accepting how things had to happen the way that they did to get you to where you want to go is going to be the best way to move forward. And that's hard to do. I'm not saying that it's an easy, easy feat, but you deserve this new beginning. But in order to create a new beginning, you have to make peace with your past. And again, I know it's hard to do. All right, Aquarius, this reading was talking about what you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. So in the extended, we're going to talk about what you need to do right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. So breaking down the messages, looking at, you know, certain day-to-day -day tools that you can use, using my experience as a spiritual coach to help in that aspect. And then I have an advice card to pull from Spirit at the end. Thank you so much, Aquarius, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, Aquarius, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Bye, Aquarius.